Oh, hey folks. Today we're diving into the world of Dynamic Apex. Buckle up because we're about to unravel the magic of dynamic programming in Salesforce. So, Dynamic Apex is like the chameleon of programming languages. It lets you play with objects, fields, metadata, and permissions dynamically. When we say dynamic, think of it as a language where variables don't have a fixed type. A classic example, JavaScript. You can throw different types of values at a variable like it's a party. There's this cool feature called late binding. No, it's not a procrastinator's dream job. It's about binding method calls at runtime, not compile time. You can redefine methods, tweak class structures, and even add or remove methods on the fly. Dynamic languages love this stuff. Reflection is another superhero power of dynamic languages. Imagine a program looking at itself in the mirror and making changes. Crazy, right? It can check out its functions, tweak its variables, and even cook up fresh code on the spot. Let's call it self-awareness for software. Now you might be thinking, what about Apex? Great question. Apex is a bit like a superhero with a secret identity. It's statically typed and object orientated, but it sneaks in dynamic language features. You can build these cool generic classes and methods, making them work with any object without hard coding names and fields. Okay, let's get practical and look at simple but useful scenarios where dynamic Apex can be used. This code grabs all the custom field values from every record on the account object, saving them in a list called records. After running the query, you can go through records to check or change the custom field values. The code is set up to work in a typical way for making flexible SQL queries in Apex. It uses preset variables for objects and field names. Plus, it hints that you can make these names even more adaptable by using custom metadata or settings, whether through the user interface or code. Dynamic Apex lets you verify user permissions to access objects or fields. For instance, you can dynamically check if the current user has access to the email field on the contact object. This feature comes in handy for enforcing field level security in your organization or application. Imagine you need to swiftly get labels and API names for a pick list field with a multitude of values during troubleshooting. Picture this, an emoji in an API name causing issues. You can dynamically manage various record types, accessing their ID, API name, label, and other properties. Avoid hard coding metadata IDs for better maintainability and to reduce the risk of errors. In this example, we're using Apex to dynamically create VisualForce data table columns and set their values. Apex allows dynamic creation of VisualForce components, which is handy for implementing complex UI behaviors that standard markup finds challenging. Now let's talk about some best practices. When working with Dynamic Apex, prioritize security by safely handling user inputs to guard against SQL injection. Thoroughly test all dynamic elements to mitigate potential errors, recognizing that it may necessitate additional testing code. Additionally, carefully assess the performance implications of utilizing Dynamic Apex, as optimization might not be universally necessary. To sum it up, Dynamic Apex is your ticket to flexibility and power in Salesforce development. Manage permissions, build dynamic queries, and create robust frameworks. This tool does it all. It adapts and responds to changes without breaking a sweat. Hope you enjoyed the ride today. Catch you in the next one. Happy coding.